Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to make a very simple drum machine program using Mac MSP. And in this tutorial you'll see how to use a number of very useful objects. If you're a beginner, these objects will help you learn how to use Macs uh, much more effectively. Okay, so let's just get started here. First we create a metro. Now what a metro does is it's a metronome which outputs a bang at regular time intervals. So what we need to do is create a toggle to turn the metronome on and off, and as well a number which will uh, set the time intervals of the metronome. So from the metro, we'll go to a counter from 1 to 16. And what a counter does is it keeps track of bang messages coming out of the metronome, and then outputs the bangs within a range 1 to 16. So from here, we can um, just create a number box. And I'll show you how this works. Okay, so now once we have this, we can uh, create a new object called Send, and we'll call it Send Counter. Now what this will do, we'll take this counter, this number's counting, and send it to a new window that we will open right now. And how we'll, what we'll do is, since we're sending it, we'll need to receive it somehow, so we'll type Receive Counter. And now, if we have a number box on this side, we'll receive this, this counting between 1 and 16 at this time interval. Now, once we have that, we can create a new object called select. What select does is it will, if this number matches select number, it will output a bang. Create 16. See how it creates 16 channels here. Okay, if we connect this to this, it will go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It'll count through the selects. Now, what we need to do is create something called gate. What gate does is it will only pass a message message through the gate if a toggle is turned on. So it will only pass a message through if this is turned on. Now what we will do is copy and paste a bunch of gates. Okay, so as you can see here I already completed 16 channels, 16 gates, and connected it all to a number box. As you can see, this number box doesn't change. We're going to control this, and that's going to create different sounds after. But right now, we have a metronome coming in, and it's scrolling through this, counting from 1 to 16, and outputting through here. So what we will do to create actual sounds is we'll make something called a make note. Now, if you're unsure how make note works, I would suggest Right, oh, make note. It's just right clicking, open make note help. Make note outputs a MIDI note on message paired with a velocity value, followed by a note off message. Now, what that pretty much means is it will create sounds <laughs> for you with a pitch and a velocity. Now, what we have to do to pair with a make note is something called a note out. It will go note out 10 for drums. And we'll connect the pitch with the pitch and the velocity with the velocity. And now, if we choose a good sound, oh yeah, there's the sounds. See how it works? 
Yeah, so there you go. There is a simple drum machine sequencer. My next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make this a little better, improve it a bit.